Cell cycle, cell division is consisting of interface and M phase. The interface is consisting of G1, S and G2. The M phase is consisting of mitosis and cytokinesis. 95% of the cell time is taken by interface and 5% by M phase. Cell cycle in human take 24 hours in which 23 hours is for interface and 1 hour is for M phase. Interface is present between two successive M pairs, which can also be called mitosis. First, we have interface, then M pairs, interface, and M pairs. So, interface is between two successive M pairs. From this interface, from this INT, we can also remember that there will be intensive metabolic rate in the interface. I mean, that cell is going to be metabolically active. And from this INT, we can also remember that it is the initial stage, initial stage of cell cycle. Now here I will be talking about the mnemonic and the mnemonic here is inter dancing bar. So inter is for interface, dancing will be for DNA replication or DNA synthesis and bar is for bar body study. From the above discussion now it's clear that interface is consisting of G1 which is called gap 1, S phase which is called synthesis and G2 which is called gap 2. Now the mnemonic here will be interface, you can see enter, so it is inten there is intensive metabolic activity. Uh, from this INT, you can say this is the initial stage. And the mnemonic here is inter dancing bar. Inter means for interface, dancing is for DNA replication or DNA synthesis, and bar is for bar body study. So in the interface, what is going to be occur? That is DNA replication and two bar body study. So this is a cell cycle ball which is in the water and this, this portion of the cell cycle ball is toward the water I mean the chemical and this side of the um, cell ball is toward the sun I mean the, sp the radiation from the sun So we'll be starting from here G1, S and G2 G1, S and G2 this is called interface and most of the time cell cycle a uh, cell is uh, at this interface 95% of the time and then M phase is consisting of mitosis and cytokinesis if you guys can see, first we will start from here and then we move upward. So this G1 and this S is toward this water. I mean this water, this chemical can hit this S and G1. And that's why we say that G1 and S space is chemosensitive. But you guys can see the radiation from the sun is toward this G2 and M space. This M space and G2 space, you guys can see here, this is toward the radiation so we can say that M phase and G2 phase are radio sensitive. M phase is more radio sensitive than G2. But still, these radiation can hit M phase and G2 phase so M phase and G2 phase are radio sensitive. But another point, if you guys can see here, this, this sun, this radiation, this suns cannot hit this S phase. So S phase can also be called radio resistance. But S phase is chemosensitive because this chemical in the water can hit this phase. G1 phase can also be called gap phase 1 and there will be growth the growth up for the growth it means that there will be growth, there will be the synthesis of RNA protein lipids carbohydrates synthesis occur in G1 phase because after the, this G1 phase the cell cycle will enter into S phase which is called synthesis or DNA replication but for the synthesis or DNA replication we must check first that if the growth is occur properly and the growth will be occur with if there is the synthesis of RNA protein lipids and carbohydrate from this one we can say this one is same like L so I will say longer phase so G1 is the longest phase in interface this is the longest phase and from this long if you see 1 0 so it is like 10 hour it take the 10 hour so we will take 8 to 10 hour from this one we can say G, G1 checkpoint like this here this is the G1 checkpoint this this point will check is the growth occur properly is there any damage in the DNA so if the growth is occur properly and if there is no damage in the DNA then the cell cycle will proceed toward the SR synthesis of replication or replication of DNA or synthesis of DNA so the G1 checkpoint which is here will check at the end of G1 there is G1 checkpoint so it will check the size of the cell growth of the cell DNA of the cells is there any damage in the DNA of the cell if there is damage the cell will the cell cycle will arrest at this point so that is called G1 point now then we are having S space so the S phase, now another point which is very important, the G1 phase is present between M phase and S phase. Sometimes they say that G1 phase is present between mitosis or M phase or S phase or they can, instead of S, they can also use synthesis or replication of DNA. Now for the S phase, 
we will be starting S space there will be DNA synthesis S means synthesis and synthesis of DNA which can also be called DNA replication the cytotoxic drugs act here so how to remember just S DNA synthesis or which can also be called DNA replication instead of C I will say S so cytotoxic drugs action occur here due to replication of the DNA or synthesis of DNA the amount of the DNA will be double so that they can give to each daughter cell but the chromosome number will be same okay only the DNA amount is double but the chromosome number is going to be same G2 pace which is can also be called gap 2 so how to remember uh, what is happening in G2 like this just try 2 and for this T I will say 3 so 3 to 4 hour G2 is uh, like it takes 3 to 4 hour and short it is the short phase of the cell cycle so short I mean the interface okay so short and another one that is ATP synthesis from this T I can remember from this 2 I will say secondary growth and G2 checkpoint the G2 checkpoint will check the physiological condition of the cell and check is there is uh, check is DNA replication is completed or not if DNA uh, replication is completed then the cell will proceed toward S uh, mitosis like here we have G1 then we have S then we have G2 and then MPS so this G2 checkpoint is like here the DNA replication will be occur here then cell will enter into this space in this space the cell will check is the DNA replication is completed or not if the DNA replication is completed then the cell cycle will proceed toward MPS which is mean mitosis sometime MCQs they are asking about the locations so if you guys can see here this G1 is present between the MPS and SPS instead of, instead of M they can use mitosis or instead of S they can also use DNA synthesis or DNA replication so G1 is present between MPS and SPS S space is present between G1 and G2 and G2 is present between M space and S space and now from this up to here G1, S and G2 this is whole interface.